Have you ever wanted to? Hey, hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, you. Yes, you. Do you like troll builds that work? Do you like one-shotting people in League of Legends? Then let me show you what you can achieve by just playing this champion and pressing the one button. In this footage, you can see randomly blank wandering around some red, and all of a sudden. She gets a laser on the top of her head, and this happens. You can be a god by only pressing your R key. The only thing. What are you, what what are you doing? Hello? No. Wait. No. No. That's not. Stop. 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 No. 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 So hello everyone, um... So hello everyone, um... We have, we have Gregor with us, which uh, is um, a lovely companion in our stream. Say hello Gregor. Привет. This is so cringy, oh my god. So, you saw the video, you know, one-shotting LeBlanc, and you're probably wondering, how in the world did I do that? Well, I'm gonna explain it. To you in this video. Also, uh, let's get started. I'm really sorry that the footage wasn't really that clear. It was in 720 quality, only because of the reason that I can't replay the goddamn game. Because yesterday my internet was gone. I was literally not sleeping. I was I was laying on my bed for nine hours. Nine hours because I had no internet and I don't have any friends. Nine hours. So, you can see me in the base as Karthus. I have Zillion on me, I have uh, Sivir, I have Lulu. And they were assisting me to get a lot of moon speed. And in total, believe me or not, we managed to get 1,300 what? <laughs> ability power just on Karthus. And you, and, and you did see that we one shot blank, but we didn't, we didn't really do a lot of damage to other enemy teammates. Enemy, 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 enemies? Enemy, enemy. The reason behind that is that we experienced our ultimate, like, we, we've used our ultimate, like, 15 times in that game. So, they were pretty aware of that, you know, we need to be careful from Karthus ultimate. So, Blitzcrank as a support, but a few items that give you shields and, and give you some magic resistance plus armor when um, he's near his allies. So, and on the top of that, our they, they had two tanks and they had an ADC, which I didn't do a lot of damage to ADC, only because of the reason that she had a lot of a marsh. She bought even Mercurial Scimitar and she bought some... And she bought the other item... Which also gives her magic resist. I can't really remember the name. I think it's, it's Hextech, something. I, I don't know. But the point is that. So, we didn't explain how you do the full combo in the video, so I'm gonna show you literally right now. So, your full build is going to be um, Boots, Blood and Seku, Spellbinder, um, Rabadons, Void Staff, and finally Leandra's Torment. So, since you're at full build and you have Boots, there's um, 20 minutes into the game. You have bonus moon speed, as you can see, the uh, little yellow thingy, right? So what you're gonna do, first, you need to have 100 stacks on Spellbinder before you cast your ultimate. So I'm gonna charge that. As you can see, I have 100 stacks on Spellbinder, and don't forget about your spell echo, which is also important. You need you need, you need, need 100 stacks from your um, Ludens echo. So how do you do the combo? You need to activate boots, then you activate ghost, then you press your ultimate, and when your ultimate is about to, to, to end, you need to press your spell binder because over time, it's not it's not going to give you you know um, permanent ability power and movement speed for the um, some kind of a duration. It actually goes down, so you need to make sure you use spell binder literally after your ultimate is about to pop off. So now I'm gonna show you how you do that. Um, you need to press. Boost, boots, you get your Predator, you press Ghost, you activate your ultimate, and you press your Spellbinder. 
915 ability power. This is insane. Now I'm gonna show you on the uh, dummies. So you have all of your stacks ready and you have all of the uh, dummies. So you press your boots which gives you predator, you press ghost, you press your ultimate and at the very end you press spellbinder. And that's the damage. And if you want some help from your allies, need to make sure they give you the moon speed boost right when you're casting your ultimate. Because otherwise, they're just gonna... The, the bonus moon speed just going to wear off. So, uh, yeah. So, if you're wondering about your runes, your rune is going to be... Domination. You're gonna pick Predator, right? You're gonna pick... um. You're gonna you're gonna pick healing if you're gonna if you like if you don't have any you know um, any champion that you know gives you a slow or you have a leap or you know something like that. If you're playing with Karthus, you wanna go with cheap shot because you have your W, right? If you're gonna play with something else, you can pick something else. And now, what do I mean on something else? If I'm making a video on Karthus, you don't you don't necessarily need to play with Karthus. You can play with any champion you want. For example, let's say Vagar. Imagine playing with Vagar. So imagine you have a Spellbinder, you have a Ghost, and you have a Predator. Vagar is one of the champions that has a really, really good AP scaling in late game. Throughout the entire game, right? So in late game, imagine combining all of that, and imagine if you have even any friends on the top of that that give you moon speed. You, you activate your Predator, you start running. You activate Ghost, you're even faster. <laughs> Whenever you're near the enemy, with, with your huge ass moon speed, you press Spellbinder, and you press your ultimate. I am pretty sure you're gonna one-shot the enemy you're trying to focus. Not necessarily tank, but you know, any DC, any mid laner, or any squishy top laner, jungler, no problem. And if you like to play, you know, normal games, this is perfect. Like, if if you if you like to, you know, have some fun, in which I believe you do like to do that, um, because you watch my content, you know, off of meta builds, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you like that. And if you don't, well, I would suggest you, you know, try try to try this out. It's actually really fun, especially with your friends. So on the, on the next, you wanna you wanna select the eyeball collection, you know, for for that more damage, and we wanna go ultimate hunter because it, it ultimately ultimately gives you the um, cooldown of your ultimate. I have no idea what I said. So then you wanna go sorcery, which is your your core um, core runes for this for this build, and you wanna go celerity. And you probably want to pick a Gathering Storm, most likely, because the game is going to be quite... Well, with Karthus I had 50 minutes even, so the game was pretty long, and only because of the reason that I didn't pick Gathering Storm, I had, um, I think I had some, some other rune, I think I had this one, Scorch, because it, 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 it went well with my Leandris Torment. And I didn't think the game was going to be so long, but it did, and I I kind of regretted that I didn't take Gathering Storm because it would have added 120 AP. So these are these are basically the runes for you know any AP champion. So what kind of champions you can think of? I can think of um, Karthus, really good champion, AOE damage. For example, you're playing you're playing some kind of a game, right? You don't use your ultimate. And you wait, you you just wait for that perfect moment when you can, when where, for example, enemy team has a lot of squishy champions, and you just you just pull off the ultimate with your with your friends. They give you huge amount of you know bonus ability power. And keep in mind that you need to cast your ultimate from your spawn because after 20 minutes or 15 minutes, I I'm not sure if you have you know full boots, you will gain a lot of movement speed. Keep that in mind with Karthus. And so then you have Vagar, which you know scales really good in late game. You can you can do you can do that. Um I don't know what else we can we can pick. I mean Vagar, Karthus, what else? What else is good? Uh let's see. You know, the champions that have really good, you know, burst with their ultimate. 
um, Syndra. So let's say Syndra. I mean, it does, she doesn't really have that huge of a burst because you need to, you know, you, you need a lot of balls, but um, to increase her damage. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I I guess it could work. I don't know. Um, Aurelian Soul maybe, but barely anyone plays him because it's he's a pretty you know difficult champion, and that's about it. Um, so. Yeah, I wanted to make this video because this build is actually really fun. Like, if you haven't tried this, try it out. I highly suggest it. So, <laughs> so, so thank you for watching the video. And I'm gonna see you next time. I'm, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded many videos because I was playing games. I was busy playing games. You know, life problems. Editing takes a lot of time for me. And um, yeah, but do keep in mind... I will make a montage in two or three weeks, so um, heads up for that. And I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye to you and uh, Gregor. Say bye. This Vidania. It means goodbye for those who don't speak Russian. I'm not a Russian, by the way. But yeah, adios. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.